What's going on guys? Mike McIntyre here from All Things Sports back with a brand new video and today's going to be a fun one. Okay, so let's get into this. What's going on guys? Mike McIntyre here from All Things Sports. Thank you for stopping by as always. I'm so happy to see you here. Today we've got an interesting video. We're going to talk about free kicks. Free kicks are fun videos. I go online and I see all kinds of free kick videos all over the internet and a lot of them are good, they're fun to watch, but sometimes, in my opinion, the way the guys hit the free kicks doesn't actually work and it wouldn't actually work in a game. Everything I'm trying to talk about is in a game setting. It looks good for the camera sometimes, but it won't actually go in the net in a game. Not a game, not a game, not a game, not a game, not the game. So I'm going to set up a three video tutorial. We're going to talk about three different kind of free kicks, one different type of free kick in each video, and I'm going to talk about three different tips for each free kick that you can use to hopefully apply them in a game and choose which type of free kick you'd like to hit and then maybe start seeing some results. So we're going to talk about three different ones, okay? We're going to talk about the bending free kick, the curl, the whip, the hashtag bend it like Beckham, okay? The one that goes up around the wall into that corner bends away from the goalkeeper. We're going to talk about the topspin free kick, the one that gets up and over the wall and then down into the corner. And then of course the one that is a lot of fun and sometimes the most difficult to really predict, the knuckleball, okay? So this one is a lot of fun to practice, but it is difficult to actually get the proper technique on. So hopefully we're gonna break a video down for all three different types of free kick, and I'll give you three different things to think about in each video so that you can try and apply them to yourselves. And just so that you guys kind of see where I'm coming from, I've been able to score these three different types of free kicks in an actual game. So there you go. Again, not necessarily the best quality, but I hope that you can get the idea for each different type that I'm trying to hit it in a different way so that the ball shapes a different way and actually goes in the net. And there you go, I've done it in a game, they all counted. So again, not the best necessarily footage, but I hope that you can get the idea of where I'm coming from for the three different types of free kicks. So let's head out onto the field. We'll break it down. Skill number one, three tips. All right, so let's go. Okay guys, so we are on the field now. As you can see, I got the net behind me. I have the balls, I've got everything set up. So we're gonna talk about the bending free kick once again. And I talked about breaking it down into three cues that can really, you know, help you hit it well. So three things you need to think about, okay? Contact on the foot. Where are you hitting the ball? Which part of the foot are you hitting it with? What part of the ball are you hitting it with? And then of course, the follow through. Okay, so we're gonna break it down into three steps. Remember, this is the bending, curling, hashtag bend it like Beckham free kick. This is what we're trying to accomplish. Hit the ball with the sort of inner part of the laces, all right? So, and then hit the outside of the ball a little bit under the halfway point just to whip the ball around and get that spin on it. Now, the follow through is a little bit different for everybody. I'll tell you about me personally. Personally, when I hit a bending free kick, I get a sort of hybrid between a bending and a topspin free kick. That's just the way I like to hit it. I like to hit it hard enough, get it bending around up and over a wall, but I also want it to get it down underneath the crossbar. So it's not just a bending free kick. Personally, my type, my style is sort of a hybrid between the two. I tend to hit a topspinny, curling free kick. That's just the way I do it. So my follow through generally is a little bit more of a, a whip, but also from, you know, the up and over kind of technique. It's hard to explain it, you'll see it when I hit it. That's kind of my crossover between the two, but if we're talking solely about bending, you want your foot to continue twisting around your body. The longer your foot is in contact with the ball, the more spin it can generate, hence generating more whip. Okay, so let's get some demos going and let's see what we can do. That's something else, I said it before. Hit the ball hard. I can't stand watching free kick videos when some guys just touch it, you know, and it looks, oh, there's a nice shape on it and it looks like it's a good free kick. Yeah, it might be a good free kick, but in a real game, it's never gonna go in. You have to hit the ball hard enough to beat the goalkeeper. Hit it hard. I'd rather 
someone hit the ball hard and miss by you know a couple yards then to just loft it over it it's a, it's on target but in reality the goalkeeper can walk across the goal and just catch it out of midair so hit the ball hard and that's what we're looking for in the next part you know i missed but that's not bad Okay, so these are all good free kicks. I'm missing, but I'm right in the corner. That one's not very good. I mean, it's so-so. I might get around the wall, maybe get around the wall, but the goalkeeper reads it well saving that. I've got to get it a little bit more towards the corner. Now that one was good. I like that one. funny that that bounced in. That actually went in So there you have it, that's free kick number one, the bending free kick. The three different techniques, up, over, around the wall, bending away from the goalkeeper into that corner. So three things to think about, okay? Contact, where are you hitting the ball? What part of the foot are you using? And of course the follow through. You need to use these three things. Of course, three things are all related, right? What part of the foot you hit it with, on which type of the ball, and how you follow through, they're all intertwined, but each one will have a sort of different effect on how the ball shapes and how the ball really reacts after you hit it, okay? So remember those three things, try and work on those. Remember, you need to hit it hard, okay? So I see tons of free kick videos all the time where, I said it before, they just sort of hit it for the camera. It's not actually hard enough to go in the net. I can put it into that left side of the goal every time with a bit of a bend on it, but if I don't hit it hard, it's not going to go in. So hit it hard. Practice hitting the ball hard. Of course, accuracy is super important. I'm not saying don't be accurate. But hit the ball hard enough so that it beats the goalkeeper. Okay? Don't just do it for the shape. Hit the ball hard. You want to get it in the net. Okay? So it's very important. That was number one. The bending free kick. Those three tips. Get out. Practice. And, and then you can see how the ball actually reacts for yourself. So again, Mike McIntyre, All Things Sports. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you in part two of this free kick tutorial.